Hey, what's going on, Vikes? I'm Kiernan. And I'm Tara, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Want a free meat stick? In celebration of FFA Week 2, Red Case Tractors pictures will be hidden around the school. If you find one, return it to Miss Van Gordon's room in W11. Thursday, February 25th, Seaman FFA will be sponsoring a paid hat day. There will be a table in the Commons where you will pay your $5 to wear a hat the entire school day. The sticker they give you must be visible at all times. The proceeds will be donated to the memorial fund for a local FFA member who just sadly passed away. The Shawnee Co County Sheriff's Office will be increasing traffic enforcement efforts around high schools as part of the SAFE Pro program initiative. The enforcement phase will be February 22nd through March 5th. Juniors, this is the final week applications will be accepted to participate in an internship your senior year. The link to the application can be found on your School G Class of 2022 page. If you have already applied, be sure to add the course College and Career Internship to your enrollment form as an alternate course. If you have any questions, email gnoble at usd345.com. If any SHS students are considering studying aboard the high school, they can find information about reputable exchange organizations through the Council on Standards for International Educational Travels. Students and parents can find specific information in the link provided in Schoology. Please feel free to contact Ms. Martinez at lmartinez at usd345.com with questions or comments. Seniors, do you plan on becoming an elementary education major and being a teacher? If so, see Ms. Ross ASAP to find out about a renewable $1,000 scholarship opportunity. Looking for an after-school snack? Let's check out Madison's brownie recipe. Now in sports, the baseball fan cloth order is now up and going. Please check it out and see if there's anything you would like. Go to the available link in Schoology. March 1st is the first day of spring sports. You must have a physical and concussion form on file prior to tryouts. Stop by the athletic office if you have any questions. 
Anyone who is interested in participating in track and field this spring but did not make it to one of the informational meetings, please view the link in Schoology. Congratulations to our boys and girls bowling teams. Boys Varsity, Girls Varsity, and Girls JV all won league championships, while Boys JV placed second. Katie Price won the individual league champion medal. Other league medalists were Mackenzie Millard in third, Caitlin Evans in sixth, Evan Burns in third, DJ Birkenbaugh in sixth, and Xander White in ninth. There will be an informational meeting and sign up for those interested in going out for boys tennis, Group B students, Thursday the 25th and the Wednesday Commons at 1.15. Let's go to Zoe for the weather after this commercial break. At all school events and games, make sure to create a safe and welcoming environment. Follow Rule 52, display good sportsmanship, and remember all school rules when cheering on our teams. It's always a great day to be a Viking. We are expecting very cloudy weather, so the sun, seeing the sun is going to be more rare than not. Today is National Chili Day, so make sure to eat some chili to warm up on this cold day. Today our temperatures are going to be reaching up into the 40s, but this is quite a drop to what we were the past couple of days with our temperatures being up in the 50s. For your SVTV 7 day forecast, our temperatures are going to be fluctuating quite a bit throughout these next weeks with our temperatures going from 40s to 50s, even possibly touching up into the 60s some days. No back to your anchors. Thanks, Zoe. That's all for today, Vikes. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.